What, does it does it mean something to you to kind of knock her off her, her high horse a little bit like kind of a spoiler uh, in, in a way? You know, it, it it's not necessarily anything personal towards her, just more towards UFC. Like yeah. they take everybody around me, but not me. But I mean, not, not like I would say yes to UFC right now anyway, unless they're paying Ronda Rousey money. But uh, <laughs> no, you know, I I'm I'm just happy where I'm at. So I just like to disappoint UFC. So. <laughs> So is there some bitterness that they that they want other people but not you? Um, just what Sean Shelby said to me has yeah, pissed me off a little bit. So I've been kind of been on a fucking kill mode for like <laughs> the last few fights. What did uh, Sean Shelby say to you? Uh, he said I was unimpressive. I don't finish fights. I'm unimpressive. So all right. <laughs> so I told everybody I'm fucking knock bitches out. I just want to knock girls out. I just want to finish girls. Do whatever I have to do. Just. Whatever. So you want to be like the UFC spoiler? You just want to go yeah. out there and see oh, yeah. every girl yeah. that's gonna get to I want to spoil everybody's plans. <laughs> More just UFC. I want to spoil everybody's plans. I think everybody plans on more for me. So I just get in there and look scrawny and beat the shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to, to hear that from Sean? I mean, I, I guess in some ways you appreciate the candor and the directness, but it would seem um, like it's also kind of crushing as well. I don't. I mean, the dude's scrawny himself. If I ever ran into him at a jiu jitsu gym, I'm gonna wad him up. You know what I mean? <laughs> But uh, no, you know I don't. I don't care. A lot of people have a lot of negative stuff to say, so it's whatever. I'm just out here to win. I just want to win. So you're no stranger to big fights, big opportunities. But uh, this this card seems like it's getting a lot of attention. Being here in Las Vegas is a really cool night for Invicta. Does it feel like a unique opportunity, a unique moment, or is this just another night for you? Uh, yeah, it's just another night. I just need to win. I just want to keep on winning. I uh, I don't like losing. That sucks. So and the paydays suck when you lose. So. I just want to win. I just want to keep on winning, get this belt, and, and be the best I can. And you think if the USD came calling, you'd say, no, I'm fine where I'm at right now? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Definitely right now. Unless we're talking about some big money, but I doubt they're going to offer me big money. They'll probably get me and put me on the sidelines and pay me shit. So, uh, no, I'd, I'd stay here with Invicta. They keep me busy and stuff. So, I'd rather fight. Talk a little bit about your opponent. What's the main danger that you need to work out for? Watch out. Um, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Her last few fights have been really quick. Uh, I can't say that she's fought like the top talent, but you know she's definitely fought tough girls. And all these girls in 135 pound weight class are tough. I mean, I think the weight class is stacked. So uh, I, I think it's funny when I see girls coming down and think they're going to come walk through. And my weight class is is good. So you know, uh, you know, I just haven't really seen a lot of her. So. I guess we'll see. I'm going to put the pressure on her right away and then we'll see how she handles and I'll, I'll be able to tell right there, you know, I, it clicks in my mind sometimes in fights and I'm like, this girl can't beat me. So then I just beat shit out of the rest of the fight. But, you know, sometimes it's, it's tougher than I think and, and uh, yeah, I guess I just decide as soon as we get our hands on each other, that's when the deciding factor comes in, you know. What's funny, you're coming in and you got six fight win streak going on and do you still feel like you have to keep each time go out there and prove? That you yeah, be oh yeah, her. every single fight, every single fight. I think every time I fight anybody, they, they, that person's getting more hyped than me, that person's supposed to kick my ass, so it's like this every time. So that's why I say, you know, that throwing the title up doesn't, I mean, yeah, it's important, and I, I've been doing this for a long time for this reason, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in the same spot as I am in every single fight, so my, my plans are just to win, and then the belt comes with it, so. What was it say? Do you think that she's at all deserving of the hype that is around her, or, do you, or are you impressed? Um, you know, I, I I would say I don't see a lot of talent come out of Mexico, so you know, I I, I think that uh, they are definitely up and comers, and um, they got a lot of a lot of push behind them and stuff. But uh, it's a little different when you when you're talking about the first top 25 and the, the top five compared to the six through you know 25. I mean, that's, there's a big difference in. Uh, and talent there, and the girls are tougher, and I think that that's when you get girls that are more rounded, and I think that's where she might be a little lacking. You know, yeah, she's could she could have been training wrestling and jujitsu and all this shit like crazy, and but when it comes down to it, is like we have years. I've done this for 11 years, so what it took me years to do, she's trying to speed up in in her last two years or one year. I don't know how long she's been fighting, but however long that is, she's trying to cram it all in there, and I just don't think that the base is where you know get back to the basics, and that's what what wins fights for me. You know, so as so good as they're striking is, you feel pretty confident once you get your hands on her. It's yeah, gonna be yeah. a different story. Well, I mean, I think everybody uh, underestimates my hands too. You know, I'm a little wild. Don't get me wrong. I'm a little wild. Sometimes I look like I have hands. Sometimes I look like I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, I think I hit hard, and I think that um, 
a lot of the girls underestimate that. They don't realize how hard I hit till I hit them. So uh, that takes a lot of steam out of a lot of people. As soon as I start pounding on them, and then they get them on the ground, and I mean, even Sarah today, you know, we stood a long time. So you know, I uh, I don't know if that was my game plan. <laughs> But uh, that's just what happens when I get out there. I just switch up game plans and I just do what I feel like I need to do to win fights and, and where I need to be in what position. So. You know, it's funny. It seems like you have the personality that a lot of fans, like if you were in the UFC and got exposed to a bigger fan base, I think a lot of people would really like you. Do you feel the same way? Like you, I don't know. How many haters I have right now, as, as I am right now, how many haters I have? But, but, UFC hater, but haters usually, the more haters you have usually means the more popular True, you are, true, too. true. But then you know, I go on the UFC and then I got that times 100. Like, man, people harass me. But uh, I give it back, so I don't know. I mean, uh, I think I'm I'm pretty brutally honest and upfront yeah. about everything, and it is what it is. But uh, some people like that, some people don't. I think a lot of fans like that kind of honesty out of a fighter. Yeah, yeah. You don't really give a shit. You don't really yeah. care. Like that's why I get them unique sponsors. They like they like my attitude. They're kind of the same way, but I don't get them goody goody Nike sponsorships no, no or anything. Reluck. Yeah, they didn't want to get on this girl. <laughs> but uh, you know, but they got like too, too big of a mouth for them. But uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's pretty good. I don't know. I just am the way I am. I can't help it. Do you like where you're at, like in, in the sport, as far as like what, you know, being one of the one of the Invicta head, headliners? Uh yeah. Uh, you know, I I think uh, it was crazy that I didn't get on their first seven cards, and they had it Kansas City, my hometown, and they never put me on like the first seven cards. That's crazy. So you know, when I when Shannon took over and and uh, she pulled me up, then I was like, yes, finally, <laughs> finally somebody likes me. So. Um, uh, you know, I, I think that I, I should be farther along than I am, but, you know, I mean, I have had some losses that were crazy and lost my head and just lost. I don't know, shit happens, but I can't explain it. But, uh, you know, I, I just uh, I just try to do the best I can and, and improve more and more every year and, and try to beat everybody. I, I just want to beat everybody. I just want to be, beat everybody. I don't want to fight. I just want to beat. <laughs> I don't know. The fight part's nerve-wracking. But... Finally, for me, can, since you have been around for so long, can you just finally speak to what you've seen women's MMA grow to where it is now, to where Invicta, here it is, it's international fight with the biggest week for the UFC, and, the, and Invicta's kind of tucked in here, having one of their biggest You know, I, he I heard around. somebody put on the line, and they're like, Invicta wouldn't be where they are if it wasn't for UFC. That's craziness. Like, Shannon's been pushing this shit so, so good. I mean, we were already quality shows and everything. Like, we were already there. I mean, I think we help Fight Pass. I think Fight Pass is kind of lacking there, so we're a benefit to them. Yeah, maybe they're a benefit to us in both ways, but, uh, you know, when I first started, there was no fights. It was NHB. You were looking at an old bar. I was looking shit online. I couldn't find any. There were like five girls fighting, and I was like, I'll fight any of them, and all of them were like, no, you don't have enough experience, and they just didn't want to fight me because I'm a wrestler, and there was no wrestlers in the game, so... Um, it was crazy. I couldn't find fights forever. I mean, I trained a little bit and then I was like, screw this sport. I can't get a fight. I quit. So I quit for like two years and then they call me, fight in California or whatever, and uh, started from there. And then it started, it started rolling along, but man, fights were hard. They were really hard to get, so it's better now. It's a lot better now. I'm saying you look at this card, I mean, you're one of the few Americans even on this. I know, yeah. I mean, that's got to speak to something right there. I don't even have an American flag or anything to carry. Just saying. <laughs> uh, now you know, uh, it is crazy. I think Invicta brings in um, talent from all over the world. That's what's great about them. And even for UFC, Invicta puts that talent up there and, and everybody gets to see them and then UFC just picks them off, whichever ones they want, you know. But UFC ain't bringing girls from all over the world. They ain't trying to get out there and see who's good and do anything. So, you know, for like a lot of these girls, it's their dream fighting for Invicta. Like, they, that's their dream, you know, and that's, that's cool. You know, it's, it's weird for me to say that because I have came along and then, you know, you see promotions come and fall off and come and fall off and and I, I feel like I've already kind of at the top when they came in. So, I don't know, it's it's different. It's cool to see that, you know, see them wanting to, to be in this in this promotion, you know, and I'm already here, so maybe I take it for granted, I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, I've been around for a long time, so it's, Wait, it's fun. I'm gonna even speak on that, and just my final thing, I know you said, you know, it's just another fight, but it's gotta have to be extra special if you do get to raise your fat belt at the end of the night. Oh yeah, yeah. I heard it costs pretty penny. I'm gonna see pawn shop with it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, you know, um, it'd be nice to have it. It'd definitely be nice to have it. Uh, it'd be nice to have any belt. So I always get, uh, I always get them opportunities, and I either get them short notice, and I don't compete well, or or I don't get the offer anyway. So. You know, so uh, it's nice to be in this in this spot. You know, I'd like to get a main event once in my life, but uh, whatever. Make home works. <laughs>